Hello everyone, welcome to All in Your PDA. My name is Manish Singh and today I am going to discuss with you uh, some interview questions for BARC Stipendary Training Category 1 interviews. Correct? So, those already the uh, result hai, aapka, jo short listing hai, already out ho chuki hai, and so many students are selected for the interview and uh, the selection in the BARC exam is purely based on interviews. Correct? So, you need to prepare your uh, at least 4 to 5 subjects engineering subject in a very nice way correct in a very depth correct so let's see how to prepare and what are the questions that can be asked in your exam and uh, how you give the answer and what is the preparation strategy so you can see here here i am providing you 100 plus questions of strength of material and definitely if you prepare these questions then definitely you you are in the right position correct so you just prepare with by own so here I am providing you so many questions and what do you have to do with question? Ko. One by one you just ask whether you know the answer or not. If you don't know then you can search the answers, correct? You have to search every question and if you prepare at the end, if you, if you have answers of these questions then definitely you will give your better interview, correct? So let's see one by one. So first you can see here, here we have uh, some questions from pressure vessels. First see, here I am going to discuss with you some uh, application based questions along with some theoretical questions correct so let's see one by one so this is actually this question belongs to application waste what is the different types of tanks or what is the different types of pressure vessels correct so that you can give the answer here we have uh, two types of pressure vessel or two types of tanks whether it is thin pressure vessel or thick pressure vessel or you can say here whether it is a cylindrical pressure vessel or a spherical pressure vessel is it right so like this you can give the answer and uh, which pressure vessel is better you need to give at least four to five uh, regions correct and after that you can see here what are the different types of stresses in pressure vessels so simply you can give in a, any pressure vessel we have three types of stresses that is hoop stress longitudinal stress and radial stress now the next question which stress is more correct and in thin pressure vessel how many stresses may induce then simply you give the answer in thin pressure vessel we have only two stresses that is Longitudinal stress and hoop stress and here radial stress is zero. But in thick pressure vessel we have all these three stresses. So the next question is uh, which stress is more? So simply you can say here in cylindrical pressure vessel the uh, hoop stress is more than the longitudinal stress. Correct? But in spherical pressure vessel both the stresses are equal. So next question we have like why in LPG cylinder we weld in the across the length? Correct? So the reason behind this question is since as you know that the longitudinal stress induced in the cylindrical pressure vessel is lesser than the spherical pressure sorry lesser than the uh, hoop stress that's why that's why we weld this uh, vessels along the uh, circumferential direction not along the longitudinal direction is it right? So next uh, can you derive the formula for hoop stress in a cylindrical thin cell draw the uh, front view top view and side, side view of a cylindrical pressure vessel what is thick pressure vessel whether the stress is constant throughout the thickness or it is varying then you simply you can say in a thick pressure vessel the radial stress is varying parabolically at the inner fiber you get maximum stress and at the extreme fiber you get minimum stress yes or no and simply you just draw the diagram and you can also represent so uh, next question you can see here uh, what is uh, sinking what is tube sinking correct and what is a uh, uh, wire bounding method correct and what is the section selection criteria of any pressure vessel correct so how to draw shear force bending moment diagram let's suppose if i give you one uh, task that is let's suppose if you have simply supported beam and it is subjected to a constant moment then you just draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so you need to solve this question even uh, they can also uh, tell you just go and go to the board and you just draw this shear force and bending moment diagram on the board is it right so like this question may also asked so you must know how to draw shear force bending moment diagram how to represent stresses in beam tall beam and uh, shaft and an axial member, axial loaded member or column. In every member you must know the stress, stress distribution, how to represent stress distribution in each and every uh, each and every stresses, is it right? And you also know how to draw shear force bending moment diagram for all kind of loading and uh, 
uh, how to draw mohar circle even how to write transformation equation in a strength of material correct so you must do these things this is a very very important and uh, you, you can see here again write down the stress formula and draw the stress distribution what is the role of section models on the design of beam how what do you mean by beam of uniform strength draw appropriate shape of cantilever beam correct so like this question many questions may ask draw the more circle for this beam means let's suppose you have a cantilever beam and it is subjected to point loaded at free end so then you just draw the state of stress and along with this you will also draw the more circle is it right so like this question may also ask and uh, after that you can see here some basic question may also ask why we study strength of material what is the prime objective of strength of material is it right so if if if, if someone asks what is the prime objective of strength of material so how you give answer let's see you just say strength of material is a tool with the help of this we can develop the relationship between strength of the material and the external applied load matlab jo hum load apply kar rahe hain aur hamare material ki jo strength hai we need to develop the relationship between them so that we can easily identify how much or what appropriate shape is required for a given structural member or any machine element whatever we design is it right so this is the prime objective this is the only objective if i say what kind of loading to be applied on the uh, unixel testing correct what is unixel testing what is universal testing machine why it is called universal testing machine is it right simply is tarike se bhi question puche aayenge then you give the answer universal testing machine is called as universal testing machine why because it is it can perform tensile test it can perform bending test it can perform ca test also so so many test we can perform even we can perform compressive stress also so so many test we can perform is it right and uh, listen guys if you if you are from uh, civil engineering or mechanical engineering so you must know stress strain diagram for mild steel for cast iron for concrete mixture for rubber and uh, you even you also know how the temperature uh, affecting the stress strain diagram uh, what is young's modulus correct how to draw uh, how to obtain young's modulus correct how to determine young's modulus how to determine poisson's ratio bulk modulus kya hai what is shear modulus what is the difference between bulk modulus shear modulus and young's modulus is it right so like this question may also ask from a very basic term what is hooke's law correct and uh, even some material properties can also ask like what is resilience what is proof resilience what is modulus of resilience correct Uh, what you get from stress strain diagram which property you can obtain from the stress strain diagram is it right what is toughness what is ductility what is malleability what is the difference between ductility and malleability what are the application of these properties correct so like this question may also ask from the property section and uh, you can also ask from shear force bending moment diagram what is hogging what is sagging how to draw shear force bending moment diagram for a particular loading condition correct why we study this topic is it right how how it this topic may help to design a beam correct how you calculate bending stress what is section modulus is let's suppose if you have rectangular section then which rectangular section is preferable whether the depth is along the applied load or width is along the applied load is it right and similarly they can also ask in hollow section if you have a rectangular section but here we have two side types one is hollow and another one is solid which one is better why it is better is it right so you just give the answer on the basis of section modulus hollow section and if the solid section both have same cross section area then definitely hollow section has more has max, uh, higher young, uh, moment of inertia or you can say higher section modulus and if it is having higher section modulus then obviously in this the stress index will be lower and that's why it is chosen for the design of beam is it right why i section is preferable again you can see the same answer is it right what is beam of uniform strength how you obtain beam of uniform strength so like this question may ask from the beams correct in similar way column can in column may also ask what is column why it why uh, what is the classification of column short column kya hai long column kya hai what is the difference between short column long column what is crushing what is buckling is it right how you prevent crushing how you prevent buckling is it is it right what is cylinderness ratio what is the significance of cylinderness ratio correct is it right so like this question may also ask and the next question if i talk about deflection then they ask why we study deflection what is the application of deflection can you give the th at least three reasons for the study of deflection how you design the beam under dynamic loading condition is it right correct so this kind of question may also ask from this interview correct so dear students 
you can see here here i am providing you 119 question is it right more than this also we already provided but this is a new questions correct so if you prepare each and every question in a nice way then definitely you get the detailed preparation from your first chapter to last chapter means entire subject yahan pe aapka prepare ho jayega and if you prepared these questions then definitely मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन में आज फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक ओनली जो यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन देख रहे हैं इन्हीं में से कई सारे क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछ जाएंगे एंड इफ इफ यू प्रिपेयर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन आज फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक्स देन डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट द आंसर इन अ वेरी नाइस वे इज इट राइट एंड इफ यू गिव योर आंसर इन अ वेरी नाइस एंड वेरी इफेक्टिव वे देन डेफिनेटली चांसेस ऑफ योर सेलेक्शन विल बी हायर इज इट राइट so now i am going to end this session but before the end here i am giving you one uh, important information for you guys so your pda team already last 5 years 10 years se yahan pe hum regularly we provide you the interview preparation guidance and uh, if you if you think you, uh, you your preparation you need some help from us correct like because we we provide you um, many more uh, snap interviews mock interviews and ekdam jo aapka actual interview hoga somewhat like this yahan pe interview hum provide karenge so definitely uh, this model is very helpful for you and you must join this model so that you can get the higher chances of your selection so now i'm going to end this session and all the best to you guys and thank you for watching this lecture